Firearms are dangerous. They should only be handled by responsible adults under proper adult supervision. Please, don't try any of this at home. Hello and welcome to Will Stop a Bullet. I'm your relaxed fit host, Adam Carson. And with me as always is holes in the knees and the jeans, Will. Yo. And today we're taking aim at something that's as American as apple pie. Baseball on the 4th of July. Denim. Actually, 10 layers of denim, denim, denim to be exact. Where are we going to get that much denim? I have an idea. Uh, no, what? No. Ah. Ah. Blue jeans have something interesting to them that makes them so tough. And it's uh, the weave, the uh, way the threads, which are already fairly tough, weave together to create a uh, mesh and net, obviously. Blue jeans. The question is, is whether if you put a bunch of these together, weave, will it slow down around enough to stop it somewhere in the middle? Very similar to our book test last week. You have ten layers of blue jeans put together, duct tape, nails. Held up, piece of wood. No wood, no nails in the way of the target. Let's see what happens. All right, up first as usual is our 22 long rifle. Down. Well, went in one side, went out the other. Went in one side. And out the other. Now, well, let's try 9 millimeter. Let's go look at the damage, which I'm pretty sure is going to be extensive. Oh, I wet my pants. It went in, went through, came out, make ugly. No good. Well, it's time to get up close to personal again. How about a little buckshot? Oh, huh. Ah, no. She shredded. She ain't happy, but uh, she didn't stop her. Both sides. It's a nice, worn look if you're looking for it, but I recommend taking them off before you shoot. So, if you're wondering if a pair of Actually, ten pairs, five pairs, ten layers of blue jeans is enough to stop a bullet. I'm going to have to go with no. Well, see you next week on Will Stop a Bullet. I'm your host, Adam Carson.